grass. Is it not yet tall enough for her highness? Yeah, it's already coming up. How you found the bunnies? So I planted some seeds in here just for some dill and other things, and I've been watering it when it's not raining. And it had been raining for a few days, and I came out here and started watering it, and I saw something jump all the way over there, and so. I went over to see what it was because it was just sitting there and at first I thought it was a chipmunk and I was going to kind of chase it out but it was a little tiny baby bunny and I thought well I can't leave that there in the middle of nothing because it will get eaten by a hawk real quick around here so um, I picked it up and then and then there was more bunnies and so I was putting in my pockets <laughs> trying to trying to figure out what to do about this and so we went inside and checked and there a um, few sources on the internet said to just put them back so that's what I did is I put them back in here and yesterday I checked and there were still two of them I think there were three and then this morning there was one in here and now this afternoon there haven't been any every time I've checked so I, I'm kind of hoping that, that that means the mom moved them off because they were kind of just hiding in here and this isn't the greatest place for us to have them but I didn't also want to try putting them somewhere else and have the mom not be able to find them or something like that or we didn't want to put them in one of our bunny tractors and try and take care of them because they are wild bunnies so yeah but hopefully they'll go ways away so they're not in my garden either um, but they were really cute little tiny little things so yeah 
one of them was just uh, sitting there wanting wanting to be petted. It looks like. Yeah, yeah. There was one that that was amazing. <laughs> the one that that jumped out actually when I sprayed it with water. It, it was just like completely content to be held and petted on and sat in my pocket and fell asleep and I was like this is a weird <laughs> wild rabbit because even my my you know hand raised rabbits will will you know squirm around and act like they don't like being there if you're not their mom and so it was a little weird that this little rabbit just kind of nestled into my pocket and was sitting there with his eyes closed and his mouth open <laughs> <laughs> but they were pretty cute. Yeah, little tiny wild rabbits. Little brown rabbits. Yeah. They look like, like my squirrels, so. An unexpected little surprise in the yeah. garden. Yep. Definitely wasn't what I expected when I went to water these plants. Mm -hmm. It's hard to be too upset about baby bunnies nesting in the garden. The garden isn't just about harvesting food. For us, it's also about harvesting good memories. It's organic. It's iron phosphate. Okay. So iron phosphate attracts slugs, and when the slugs go on it, they absorb iron phosphate, which kills them. So and the slugs are And it's the slugs that do all these little hole damage? Yep. Most of them. I'm not sure if this is necessarily all slug, but it, I think by and large it's been slugs. It's, and when they're small, it will literally, they'll, they'll devour something. I really like my beans. And so, I frequently have to replant beans several times because they'll do this to them. Yeah. So, I plant my beans really thickly, knowing they're going to struggle. And the problem with, with this or beer traps or any of those kinds of things is it's raining so much here that I can't use them as frequently as I should be to be able to fully deter the slugs because even if I put a beer trap in here if it's going to rain six inches <laughs> then that beer trap is just going to flood and it's, the slugs aren't going to care so this will at least hold for maybe one rain. And it's not supposed to rain for a few days, so it's a good time to do it. Yeah, but apparently they don't like beets, so I love beets now. <laughs> maybe I'll plant a perimeter of beets around all my beds. <laughs> to get rid of the slugs because they're making me crazy. Has our copper tape been doing anything? Uh, I don't think so because I think what happens is that the slugs are already in here and so I do think that they're it's better in the beds that have the copper tape on them because the copper the, when the slugs get on it it kind of burns them so they don't want to go on the copper tape. What I really like to do is find a good source to go get hulls of hazel, hazelnuts. And so those we could put down and, and the slugs don't want to crawl on it. In, in the past I've put eggshells around things and that works pretty well. 
but that's a lot of eggshells and, and I like to feed my eggshells back to my chickens, so. so. This bed is one that the soil was, was down to about here and I used store-bought soil in here and you can see that there is very minimal slug damage. And these are beans over here. They, they don't have nearly the same problem and I think this may actually be more flea beetles than than slugs so and this had problems with slugs until I transplanted it in here now it's looking a lot better so I'll still put some in <laughs> just because I don't want them to invade this nice bed now so if they do come in here I'm I'm prepared yeah this bed has had it so bad because we had our Swiss chard that had been here for several years had been in here and it was really big and the slugs were eating it all winter and so when I would put beans in here they would destroy them like this this one has been completely decimated by slugs you can even see little slug marks on the stem. So they'll just kill everything. So I keep trying to replant my Chinese long beans in here, but the slugs just keep getting them. So I think I just need to deal with the slugs first so that I can have beans in here. You can see these peas that I transplanted in here. Not doing so well. They aren't doing very well. They they could probably use a little water too. But I, and I watered them this morning. It so, surprises me. We've had a lot of rain this spring. Yeah, yeah. starting to grow up pretty well. You don't have this much wind very often. You can see the rose petals flying off in the wind onto the grass. That is an eaten plant. I'm getting these um, little bok choys to grow at all because the slugs adore them and will we'll hunt those down above all other things. Too those, bad. Those Too bad our radishes. chickens can't just come out here and eat the slugs only without eating the garden too. Well, I would like to get ducks because they will eat the slugs first. If I had runner ducks or something like that in here, I think that would help with it. Would the, they would poop in the garden. Would they actually hop into the raised beds? I think they would kind of just, you know, I don't know. I, we'd have to see. They might have trouble with some of these taller ones, but I think they could clear around these pretty well. We'd have to get duck ramps for them. <laughs> Tomatoes are growing strong. Those aren't tomatoes. No, peppers. Those aren't peppers. Whatever they are. <laughs> They're tomatillos. <laughs> I think the peppers get hit by the flea beetles a little bit. 
can go like this and I can see little kind of white flies so or little black beetles depends but sometimes it's white flies and sometimes it's little black beetle thing so flea beetles something some bug thing getting them but they're not getting them so bad that I'm gonna do something about it the garlic's doing good yeah the garlic's doing really well and it's hard to tell because really grown this much garlic or this kind of garlic or grown garlic here um, so I'm not sure how big it is so I'll be excited to see but I guess you have to wait until they kind of turn brown and fall over like that I'm hoping it's getting closer because you can kind of see that some of it's Turning the brown a little bit. I guess I would have thought I'd see some balding or something at the base. But I'm not really sure what to expect. See, this is the garlic scape. See this part here? Mm -hmm. You can use this in cooking. So I can cut this. We could eat it and it would be sort of oniony garlicky be good in eggs <laughs> with some chives and things so yeah and some of them are starting to get their scapes which is nice it's a nice big one right there and i used to get my vegetables from a CSA. That was always fun for me getting stuff like garlic scapes because it's unusual. unusual vegetables that you can't get at the grocery store. So yeah, I use them a lot in, in things like soups and stuff and they're pretty good. Here's a bunny crunching treats. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Here's some more. There's some more. You try it, you'll like it. Let's see the black bunny one, so. He's so shy. <laughs> they get excited when they see me now because they know I'm coming with <laughs> Oh. 